Welcome back to our channel, Fast Cabling. Get ready for a story that is about to take us on a journey where innovations meet the great outdoors. Today, we receive a case from one of our customers. Let's see what happened. Our customer has three separate buildings nestled on his property. Home Sweet Home, Building A. This is where the primary router is located, providing internet access to the property and it is equipped with Wi-Fi and wire connections. Building B, this building is within clear view of the main home, and it is an office space where you need a reliable network connection for work. And Building C, the third building is further away from the main home and the second building, and there is a clear line of sight between the second and the third building. Yet, while natural beauty surrounds them, there's a challenge that begins the tech-savvy adventures within us. There's no wire infrastructure to bridge the gap, and the distance between them stretches the limits of connectivity. And the mission is to create a seamless network connection between all three buildings. And it is not just about sharing internet access, it is about harmonizing their digital habits, enabling them to collaborate and communicate as they were side by side. So we're suggesting our customer to utilize wireless bridges. So today, we will explore how technology bridges not only the physical gaps, but the realm of possibilities. So Building A has a vantage point that overlooks Building B, and Building B's in turn have a clear line of sight to Building C. It is like the game of Connect the Dots, where wireless bridge becomes the ink that draws the lines of connectivity. And wireless network bridge is like the digital handshake across open space. It is the technology effortlessly connects separate network wirelessly, much like building a virtual bridge over a physical gap allowing different locations and devices to communicate and share data without the need for traditional wire connection. And they offer brocades of benefits. First, it brings scalability so you can easily expand your network by adding more bridges as needed. Second, they're cost-effective, saving you the expense of laying long cables between distance locations. Moreover, they significantly reduce cable clutter and making your network more pleasing and easier to maintain. So planning is the cornerstone of a successful wireless bridge setup. It ensures that your network bridge functions flawlessly. Conducting a thorough site survey is crucial to determine the optimal locations for placing your wireless bridge devices. Factors like line of sight, potential interference from physical obstacles, and signal strength must be considered. And once you have planned your setup, gather all the required equipment, including the wireless bridge that will form the backbone of your connection, Ethernet cables for data transfer, power adapter to keep devices running, and any necessary mounting hardware for securing your devices in the chosen location. Ensure that all your devices are compatible and support the desired wireless standard, such as 802.11ax or 802.11ac. Compatibility ensures that all your equipment can communicate effectively, and selecting the right equipment hinges on several criteria. Consider the required range, like how far do you want your wireless bridge to reach, and then evaluate the frequency. Select the frequency band that suits your needs, such as 2.4 GHz or 5 GHz. And lastly, double check the compatibility to make sure all the components can work. Think of it as choosing the right tools for a construction project, and each piece of the equipment has a specific role, and selecting the best one ensure a steady and reliable connection. 
So now we're in front of the demonstration board and we built a wireless bridge connection based on our other customer scenario. Let's pretend this is the building A where the main network is. We have the router, we have the network video recorder and the monitor. And this is the building B with the router and building C with the router, internet access and a 4K Doom IP camera. So we can view the video footage back at building A. And let me introduce you to our wireless bridge here. It is a 5 gigahertz 802.11 AC outdoor wireless bridge. And it is a reliable solution that allows you to build point-to-point -point wireless ethernet connections. And you're able to set up a wireless connection at a maximum of 900 megabit per second that the transfer rates with in three kilometers transmission range with no obstacles in between. It offers plug and play connection so you can match the wavelength of each bridge easily by only pressing a single button without complicated configuration on the web. With IP65 protection rated, we can have stable wireless connection and it's available even under outdoor or harsh environment. Without saying, let's do the connection together. So first we need to set up the main router in building A, an optimal placement ensure better signal coverage. So position your router in the central location to minimize that spot. Then I'm going to use a short patch cord to connect the router to the network video recorder. So we can view the video footage from the 4K camera in building C using another ethernet cable here to connect the router to our wireless bridge. It is already powered up. It's getting the 12 volt DC power. This is the ethernet cable connected to the router. As you can see, we have the M and S, stands for master and slave. This one is on M mode, so the other one should be on S. This is the reset button. We press this button to change the channel in order to connect two bridges together. Let's see, now we are on channel three. Let's press the button and change it on channel five. And come over to building B. First, I'm going to use an ethernet cable here to connect our wireless bridge to the building B's router. So it will receive power, receive data from the wireless bridge. This is the S mode. Plug it in here to our router to get internet access from building A. And now let's press the button to change it to channel five as well. So we are on channel five now. They should be connected together and providing internet access for building B. So using an other ethernet cable to connect the router to building B's another wireless bridge. Let's plug it in here. And also this one is already powered up. This one should be on M because we are connecting this to the building C wireless bridge. Now let's set the channel. It is on channel eight now. I'm going to press the button and change it to channel nine. So coming over to building C, for this building, we are doing something different. Instead of the 12 volt DC power, we are going to use PoE to power it up. And see here we have the PoE adapter. I'm going to use an ethernet cable first to connect to our wireless bridge. It is on the S mode. And the camera is already connected to a power adapter. I'm going to use another short patch cord to connect it to the camera first. And then here I'm going to use the adapter to connect both the wireless bridge and the router. 
So the gray Ethernet cable here is connected with the wireless bridge. Let's plug it into the PoE port. This is the LAN port. Use another Ethernet cable here to connect it with our router. Let's plug it in and I'm going to power it up. So our wireless bridge here, it should be getting PoE technology and the, wild, and the router is getting the internet from building A. Let's give it a little bit of time because I just plugged it in. And now I'm going to press the button to set the channel to channel. Nine. Here we go. It's on channel nine already. So they should be getting both power and data. And let's wait for the video footage to be show up on the monitor. I'm going to wave my hand to show you this is a live video. And there's nothing in between, only the wireless bridge. So that setup is now complete with the seamless wireless network bridges connecting all three buildings together, sharing internet assets and breaking down the barrier of physical distance. Now I'm going to give out summer tips for optimizing wireless bridge performance. To maintain optimal performance, ensure a direct and unobstructed line of sight between wireless bridges. Even minor misalignment can affect the signal quality and that a transfer speed. Mounting the wireless bridge at a rooftop or high pole can reduce obstructions like trees. And to prevent network congestion, consider limiting bandwidth heavy application on network. This can help maintain a stable and responsive connection. And if you're uncertain about your wireless bridge setup, don't hesitate to seek for professional help. By sending us your question through the link down in the description box below, our expertise can ensure that your network operates at its best. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next time.